drive is when you get so. So, as Trump is fulfilling the Book of Mormon warning, we now need to uh, refer to our Book of Mormon to see exactly in what manner Trump will proceed. And so for this, we first turn to Mosiah, chapter 29. And uh, in verse 17, For behold, how much iniquity doth one wicked king cause to be committed, yea, and what great destruction. <clears throat> and then he, Mosiah is referring to King Noah, his wickedness and his abominations, and also the wickedness and abominations of his people. Those are his Trumpites, the GOP Republicans who sided with him, who acquitted him in the Senate, who were in denial and throughout the land allowed coronavirus to spread and expand and grow and infect and over hundreds of thousands of people and, and murder many of us as well and with the intent to murder all of us only the strong will survive as they think and with the promise of a vaccine there is really no promise it's 90 percent effective great how long does it last how long have they been testing exactly so yeah there's no certainty of any relief coming anytime soon and so uh, because of their iniquities they were brought into bondage Ta-da! Talked about the slave economy this morning. <coughs> Alright, so we'll skip the thoughts and prayers stuff. Down to 21. And behold, now I say unto you, ye cannot dethrone an iniquitous king, save it be through much contention and the shedding of much blood. So we now know that Trump is purposely stacking the Pentagon. And you only do that as third world country presidents do uh, when they seek to militarily control the government. And, uh, and, and so, yeah, Trump's not going away without a fight. Uh, he's got dozens of lawsuits waiting for him when he leaves office. Uh, it was Mueller's mistake to not follow the money because he's president. To not indict him because he's the president. He knew of the GOP in the Senate. And so he too is part and parcel of all of this as we see further on down here uh, for behold he has his friends in iniquity he it's called compromat that's the Russian word it's it, in English it's closest to compromised uh, it's where uh, you have uh, metaphorical dirt, uh, crime, or something that can be used against you uh, that uh, can force your compliance and control. Uh, so, for example, when a kidnapper kidnaps your family, well, if you're in a position of something that they want, such as a government office, all they have to do is say, hey, we're going to kill your family unless you uh, push the nuclear warhead, you know, nuclear football, whatever, or uh, send us money. That's the most common way. And so uh, it doesn't have to be necessarily crime, it's just uh, something that somebody has over you uh, that they can use as leverage. Uh, 
and that's why he keeps his friends in iniquity so that everybody's on the same page if you go down we all go down if I go down all of you will go down and so they sort of keep each other in check and balance that way and he keepeth his guards about him oh there it is they're stacking the Pentagon because the Secret Service no longer work for him on January 20th uh, but the Pentagon yeah he can do all sorts of fun things with the Pentagon And he teareth up the laws of those who have reigned in righteousness before him. Well, it's just, he doesn't follow the Constitution. It's that simple. You don't have to see him actually tear up the Constitution. And he trampleth under his feet the commandments of God. Yeah, Trump's not religious. And he enacteth laws. Yeah, all sorts of laws and policies and practices southern border was his very first one the very next day after his inauguration we found out after the fact when we found his uh, his preliminary letter and then uh, the original attorney general I can't remember his name anymore the little smurf guy on uh, our cartoon president I can't remember his name offhand, uh, but uh, I heard his speech out in California declaring, we're changing policy and we're enacting the southern border family separation. And of course, Herbert, I contacted the governor's office and I said, don't send our troops, our National Guard, to the border. And I got a BS letter back. Oh, Governor Herbert is big on 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 keeping families together and has no troops at the southern border. And the next thing we know, troops are sent down to the southern border in Arizona. Yeah, Herbert's our friend. He is inspired by God. Uh huh. So yeah, everybody and leadership are guilty they're all compromised we are under attack guys he enact uh, let's see yeah he enacteth laws and sendeth them from forth among his people yea laws after the manner of his own wickedness yeah exactly what he wants to do becomes a law and so the Orrin Hatch tax bill in 2017 you know that one that was rushed before the new year so that it can be implemented by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints right at the beginning to form all those LLC corporations that mysteriously received 32 billion dollars that they laundered into the stock market and they don't have to disclose where it came from because the tax bill said they don't have to so yes exactly like it says in the Book of Mormon and whosoever do not obey his laws he causes to be destroyed oh you're gonna protest are you <laughs> you're unhappy with the the police brutality against unarmed black people well how dare you protest we're sending in the police to brutalize you and murder you and uh, whosoever doth rebel send his armies just talked about that with police he wanted to put the military on the streets and he was told no and so he then got away with the Portland incident and then got a few other cities after that but uh, his secret secret feds the men in black came and just kidnapped people off the street that's what happens but this is what we're looking for with the Department of uh, the Pentagon uh, with the Department of Defense the Secretary of Defense Esper gone and being replaced and stacked in the Pentagon with all of his loyalists he is sending his army 
the American army against us to war. And if he can, he will destroy us. And thus an unrighteous king doth pervert the ways of all righteousness. So yes, civil war is upon us. It will be before January 20th. So the question is, will Biden become president of the United States on January 20th somewhere else in this nation? Will this split America into two different lands? Will it be California that becomes the new capital of America? As we have two capitals like we did during the Civil War. Uh, the the uh, Confederates, they appointed and anointed their own king, their own president. And so their capital was down in the south. So is that what we're going to look at for our future? Is a repeat of history, just in different locations? We'll have to wait and see, but... but uh, yeah, Benson, he knew. The Constitution will not be saved in Washington. Trump will make sure that Washington, D.C. no longer becomes the seat of power for America. And so, uh, I don't know if that uh, one particular group that were doing scenarios as to what to do if Trump did this or that or the other. I don't know if this was a part of that strategy planning session that they were involved in, but uh, it's becoming more of a reality. And, uh, and so when that situation comes, you're going to see all white supremacists immediately rise up to side with Trump and his army his Pentagon army. He will turn the Pentagon upside down <laughs> to make it an inverted pentagram. And, uh, and so, yeah, Utah, they're Confederate. They support Trump. They're conservative. They're part of the GOP with the inverted pentagrams on the elephant that was switched back in the Nixon campaign. That's when it first happened. Letting everybody know, hey, we the Illuminati, we got them, we're in. That's the secret sign that Helaman Chapter 6 talks about. And so, yeah. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens here because Governor Herbert does not get removed until come on Google For a simple answer, guys. All right, let's try a different tactic. List of Utah governors. Okay. Huh. 
assumed August office on August 11th. Oh, that's because Huntsman got called up to be ambassador. Yeah. Or something. Yeah, China. Chinese ambassador, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, eighth lieutenant governor, January 3rd. Is that consistent? Why is this so hard for you guys? <laughs> uh, the governors in Utah. Okay. State of Deseret. No, it was the Kingdom of Deseret. January 4th, Spencer Cox will take office, finally. Okay, so that's still a long ways away, but it's before January 20th. Uh, obviously, Trump is also trying lawsuits to see if that can also get him to win legitimately without having to use the Pentagon. But... Uh, yeah. So we'll see uh, if Cox is the one in charge under Trump, <laughs> under his martial law. But uh, if you've forgotten the reason why, uh, verse 31 of section 45 of the Doctrine and Covenants, it's the desolating sickness, so cover the land. And then it's not Jerusalem. <gasps> oh no, Travis! What are you saying? Okay. That's after 63. So. A land of inheritance. It's not Utah. It shall be called the New Jerusalem, a land of peace, a city of refuge, a place of safety for the saints of the Most High God. And so, yes, I worry about those around the world. <coughs> but this event will cause a rescue mission attempt to bring those from around the world to America to the New Jerusalem to Zion. Uh, the wicked will not come into it because nobody uh, will like them because they aren't participating in their wickedness. Nobody wants to hang out with somebody who won't be compromised. Uh, and it shall come to pass among the wicked. Here's the reason why. Every man that will not take his sword against his neighbor must needs flee unto Zion for safety. And we don't have Zion. It's not built. And so uh, it's going to be off the cuff because uh, it's going to take longer if this lawsuit is settled. No, they're purposely delaying it. They know I won. But uh, every nation shall be get or there shall be gathered unto it out of every nation under heaven. It shall be the only people that will not be at war one with another. But yeah, there's going to have to be rescue operations to bring people here. Because otherwise, people are going to be struggling, building makeshift boats to sail across the waters. <sighs> Hopefully, the seas or the oceans will be calm for that to be possible without struggle, because those waves can get really intense. 
uh, people walking from the south up trying to get through the borders because you know Trump's gonna want to shut down America preventing people from getting in so yeah there's gonna have to be some underground railroads to get into Zion and all sorts of stuff so yeah we don't know exactly we just know that Trump is preparing for war He's gathering his armies to attack so that he can remain president so hold on it's a coming 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 whoa somebody's coming good old Bill Murray and Ghostbusters it's supposed to be a Ghostbusters 3 what happened to that I know there's the female Ghostbusters but they don't count it was not as bad as the critics said it was. I actually kind of liked it. 